Welcome back, Auto Hockey people of the world. Today we're going to do another GUI video, uh, another very simple one, but it's basically messing around with the font in your GUI. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the code, shall we? Uh, let's get to my GUI here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I passed it. There we are. So I think I've talked about this in you know previous videos with how to just have the default where you have you know GUI font size or S. Uh, 12. So that means whatever's under this is going to be size 12. So that would be this, which is my edit box. It's where the code gets typed in in my IDE, uh, AHK Playground. Uh, but I only want it to be that. The rest of the stuff I want it to go to size 10. <clears throat> so everything now under this is going to be size 10. But then as you see, we hit another 12, and this last edit box is size 12. So that's pretty straightforward. But let's talk about live updating versus having to change the code. So in my IDE, uh, you'll see right here, uh, if you go to File and then go to Font Size, I have a few different fonts that I put in there. So if I type in Hello World, uh, you know, that's a little small. I want I want it bigger. My eyesight's going. I'm getting older. I can change it to 18, and it automatically just changed it for me. And then I can go on the opposite sides to size 10, make it real small there. Uh, so the other thing, too, I want to show you is if I hold control and then use my wheel, I can also change the size there. As you see, it's kind of jumping around there. So how did I did that without having to change the code live? Let's close that. So what I did is, as you saw, I have the defaults here set. But what I want to do is I want to change them. So let's jump to that section if I can find it. Font size. So we'll jump to that section. So here's that wheel up and wheel down that I was doing. So you got control. When you're using a hotkey, it's just the carrot up for control. And then wheel up. What we want to do is increase the size. So we're just calling our variable size. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, plus equals two. That's just going to add 2. So if it's at 10, it's going to become 12. If it's at 12, it's going to become 14. I think you get the idea there. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do GUI, font, S, and then size, whatever that new variable count was. Uh, so you, like I said, you saw this up in my actual GUI. Well, now we need to actually change it. So we're going to do a GUI control. We want to change the font, which we're grabbing from up here. And then we're going to change where the variable code string is. So I'll show you that real quick. Let me copy that so I can jump back. Uh, gooey, gooey, gooey. There we are. Uh, Rich is right here. So it's going to change this edit box because it has the, uh, the variable or the value of code string. So that's what it's looking for. And it's going to say, okay, change the font for this. So it's going to overwrite whatever I had put there. So, you know, if I go from 12, it's going to go up to 14. It's pretty straightforward there. Um, and that's that's using a hotkey. Uh, if I want to use the menu item, it's the exact same thing. So as you see, I have here a handler called font 10. All the code is basically doing the same thing, but we're not doing math here because we're setting it to a specific value versus a scroll wheel where it's like next step, next step, next step back. Here we're just, you know, doing this. So there's no math involved. So we're just doing S10. Um, so like you saw up there, same thing, GUI, GUI control, font, code string. Uh, this right here, the handler, that's being called upon from, I showed a previous video where how to make menus uh, at the top of your GUI. That's just right here. That's if I click on this on the menu, as uh, you saw me do before, uh, font size is basically right here where I'm kicking that 10. That is this, and it's going to jump to font 10, run that little bit of code. So yeah, I just wanted to show that, throw that out there, how to you know both uh, hard code it and then change it without ne the need of changing your code. This is great if you're going to be sharing it with people. Some people like their font big or small. Uh, this will give them the option to do it themselves without you having to make multiple versions of your code with different sizes in it or basically saying like, hey, I put it as size 12. You kind of have to deal with it. All right, guys, so uh, that was a pretty simple, easy one. Hope you uh, enjoyed it, though. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Definitely subscribe. 
just throwing out multiple videos every single week to you guys, and I will see you soon. Thank you.